Dear Amadeus, how irresponsible a parent you are. I'm sure you've heard about my story. Hey there, my amazing work family. As I always say, we're all in this together. The only thing setting us apart is our titles. Our main goal, to rocket this company forward. Lately, our data shows nothing but improvement, and kudos to each and every one of you. A special shout out to Mrs. Chadera Malik, she's been rocking it, showing mad commitment to steering this ship. After powwowing with the co-founders, we all agree she's the bomb to take over Mr. Babson's role as the new manager of this company just in two months' time. Thanks a ton, everyone. I'm over the moon for this chance. I'll give my all to serve this company with dedication and pure awesomeness. Any burning questions about what we've hashed out so far? Alright then, let's wrap up this meeting. Guess what happened at work today, babe? Hit me, sweetheart. I can't try. Our boss is retiring, and they picked me to take over in two months. What's the problem? I thought you'd be happy for me. Are you taking the gig? Of course. Why wouldn't I? You got an issue with me moving up. Look, it ain't about holding you back. But think about it. We barely get time together. Moazim feels neglected, and we're always worn out by the time we get home. Now you're gonna be the manager, and it's only gonna get worse for the fam. I don't get what you're saying, but you know I've worked hard for this. So, spare me the negativity. I still come back to the family. Moazim's doing fine. I support the family with this job. It ain't just about money. I could pay you a salary if you'd slow down for the family. Pay me like I'm your maid, huh? All right. Congratulations. Keep it. Hey dad. I've been holding my breath for you to get home. Alright, what's cooking? Not much, just wondering if we could team up for some fun tomorrow. You seem caught up right now. Moazim, you know I've got a lot on my plate. Tomorrow's no cakewalk either. Why not hit up mom? She's chilling in the other room. But dad, you're always nose deep in work, even on weekends. Come on, Moazim. I'm hustling for you. Check out your school. Top notch in Chicago. I make sure you're living large. You're the cream of the crop among your pals, and that's all thanks to my business, right? Okay, Dad. Thanks for everything. You're my little star. Best way to say thanks. Ah. Uh. Be a cool kid. Do your thing. Study hard, and make me beam with pride. Deal. I promise to make you proud. That's my kiddo. Oh, no, need anything? Um, yeah, I was thinking if we could whip up some quality time. I'm solo in the room. Sweetie, I'm sorry, had a wild day. Right now, I'm mapping out tomorrow's schedule before hitting the hay. I'm beat, Mo, can we postpone this for tomorrow? Mom, I get your juggling stress for me to have a good life. You nailed it. Look at how grown up you are. You're almost as tall as us now and your needs are growing. That means we need more Mula. You catch my drift. Yes, mommy. Anything specific on the wish list? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, need some cash for tennis gear. Wanna join the tennis crew. So, yeah. Okay, calculate the green you need, then hit me up tomorrow. Sound good. Alright, mom. Love you. Love you more, my mini me. My pops works at McDonald's, and my mom bosses a tiny grocery store. Wow, why the wow, your folks are rolling in dough. You making fun of me? Nah, it's not about that. It means your folks spend some face time with you. Heck yeah, every weekend, we're on adventures, hitting places like Starved Rock State Park, and we have some rad chats. So, yeah. 
What's the deal? Hardly see my folks during daylight hour. But they're bankrolling your needs, wait. They're throwing money at me. Time's the one thing they're keeping from me. Chill with the vibes. You're all good. I've been begging for a bike since last semester, and my folks don't give a hoot about my ass. So you're killing it. Your folks hand you all you need. You should be contented. You're throwing shade at me. Okay, my bad. I'm so full. Empty house again. Flying solo till 7 p.m. Perfect timing, though, Humberto, the solo act neighbor, always lounges on the street. Dude needs a butt as much as I do. We could be the dynamic duo. Oh, shit, now I get why God hates weeds. I'm so high I feel like the most high. But wait. What a jealous God. Doesn't want us to reach his level. Wait, is that dude walking over to me? Hi, Mr. Humberto. Get to it, what do you need? See you solo all the time. I'm on the same boat. Oh, gods are lone wolves. I'm the god, don't be shocked. Have you any angels? Ha, huh, you got a point there. So, you wanna be my angel? Whatever floats, as long as I can kick it with you anytime. Nothing's free, what's your offering? How much do you want? Ten bucks. That's a bit steep. Still wanna be my angel? Yes, Mr. Humberto. Hand over the cash. I'll do that tomorrow. Don't have the cash now. No way. Okay, Mr. Humberto, I'll spot you three dollars. Deal. Hand it over. So, what's the daily drill here? First, I get so high I'm on cloud nine. Then, I brainstorm how to handle mankind. <laughs> I like your vibe, Mr. Humberto. Can I get high too? As an angel, I'd love to soar up into the sky. Good. Now, you're gonna fetch us something to elevate us. And what's that? I've never tried it before. You'll learn, my boy. Yo, my little man. Good to see you again. You lookin' happy. Yeah, just copped my full tennis gear. Feeling real good. Wait, your parents. How did you get here by this time? No worries. They'll be home by nine. Okay, how much did that set you back? I mean the tennis shits. Just 25 bucks. Man, you're rockin' it. Any leftovers? What you mean? Don't tell me your folks still frontin' you the needs. You're a big boy, gotta get the money from them instead, and get them yourself. Yeah, that's what I did. Let's get a bench over there. So, how much did you ask him? Just the 25 bucks. Why? That's silly, man. You gotta be smart. Tell them 50, they got the damn money. Nah, can't do that. I don't lie to them. Come on. It's not lying, it's being smart. They won't know, and they won't care. They give me money when I need it. What's the point? More money, man. We need that for our dealings, you know. You cool, buddy. Yeah, I got you. How much for today? The usual. Okay, I got you. Have it. That's my man, Noble Mo. What's that? That's how big men roll. You don't use your regular name. They call me Hans Pack. Your noble mo. That's awesome. Ha. Huh. I dig that, man. Yo. Hey, Moazim. What do you want? Why are you talking like that? Aren't we friends, Maysera? Sorry, yeah, but not on the same level. Add some respect to my name. I'm noble, that's my other moniker. If you're calling me Moazim, then it's noble mo. Since when did you go all, noble, or whatever? And why the sudden switch to all this slang and street talk, Moazim? Swear to God, say that again, and I'll make you taste blood. It's safer to zip it than catch a punch, right? I'm out, don't wanna see you around unless you're high, cause then I'll smoke you. Damn, why is he acting so weird? Alright, class, 
let's review our previous topic before diving into the new one. Who can create a simple sentence using the word harassment? No takers? Can nobody come up with a sentence using harassment? Let me give it a shot, sir. Okay, go ahead. Sir, I was thinking. I had this girl and her ass meant a lot to me. <laughs> Malik Mwazam, see me in the office. Walter, what's up with Mwazam? Honestly, no clue, man. Dude's been acting mad strange lately, so I've been keeping my distance. That ain't like him. He made a fool of himself in class today. But ditching him ain't the move. He's your homie. You gotta find out what's up. Mwazam, what was that nonsense you pulled in class? Where did you even come up with that? With what? I didn't dig, sir. Huh. My point is, you acted real strange in class. Your performance in my assessments has been off, and you've been skipping classes. So spill it. Everything cool with you? Yes, sir. All good on my end. Can I bounce now? Good boy, Gun Rogue. Something's off. I gotta hit up his dad. Mrs. Chadera, you can take a leave and come back on Monday when we'll welcome you to your new office. Get well soon, and have a great weekend. Thank you for understanding, sir. Always about work. Barely have time for myself. What's life without an adventure, though? The joy is exceptional when you do what you love and earn from it. I love my job. Why is everything so scattered? Why do I smell cigarettes? Malik has never smoked before, and besides, he shouldn't be home at this time. Darn. This is all on you, Shadira. What's it? You chose work over our home. Being the assistant manager wasn't enough. Now you're gunning for the manager position. Just look at the life Moazam's living. What if you become the manager? Why are you coming at me like this? What happened, honey? Moazam's teacher called me. He's dropping street words, ditching classes, and bullying students. The worst part, Moazam dropped a dirty word in class today. Oh God. Is that all? What do you mean? Malik, I caught Moazam in the bathroom, doing the unthinkable with the tab, this evening. Oh Lord. What have you done, Shadira? Moazam is our only son. I warned you to ease up on work. Don't you dare put all the blame on me. Yes, I admit I was neglectful, but what about you? Did you care at all? Every time he came to you with questions, you tossed him to me. You thought this was solely my responsibility. Shadira, damn it. You don't want to see how this ends, do you? Father, thank you for always coming through for us. We've been through tough times before, and I know you'll pull our son out of this mess. May your miracle prevail in Jesus' name. Amen to that, babe. Morning. That scowl won't help, hun. I'm sorry for laying into you last night. I was way out of line. Come on. I didn't appreciate that. We were supposed to figure this out together, not play the blame game. My bad. Okay. I take full responsibility. I'm sorry. So, what's the plan? We need to talk to him, like parents do. We haven't given him the attention he needs, and that's the root of this mess. Let's question him this morning. Alright. Moazam, we're your parents. You gotta talk to us. We've noticed a change. When I got home, I smelled cigars. I know you did it, because your dad's never touched that stuff. Then I catch you in the bathroom, on top of the report from your school. So spill it, how did you get into this mess? I don't know, I'm really sorry. Quit the apologies and answer the question. Who influenced you with this habit? Tell me, or I'll come down hard on you. Mr. Humberto, the neighbor. That ex-convict, how did you get mixed up with him? He's no good, no. 
He's a terrible influence. Now, I'm gonna break that idiot's jaw. No please, don't confront him, he's a jerk. Ain't nothing anyone's gonna tell me. Malik please stop. I'm not gonna fight anyone. I just gotta stick some warning in his head to never go close to my family. There he is. Hey, what the fuck you doing around here? Spare me please, I didn't dig, I'm just waiting here for a taxi. What's your point? Humberto, what kind of trash lifestyle are you teaching my kid? Are you nuts? No, I'm not, but I think you are. If you weren't dumb, you'd have asked your son if I dragged him from home or if he walked straight to me. If you weren't a useless parent too, he wouldn't walk from home to beg for my company. That shows you weren't giving it, so you see how irresponsible a parent you are. I'm sure you've heard about my story, Mr. Man. I don't mind going to jail once more, but I'll make sure I rough handle you. Be careful with me, I'm dangerous. If I'm being honest, I just sought someone's trouble. If Moazim hadn't linked up, they would never had crossed a path. Mo, why would you walk to a guy like that for friendship? I'm sorry mom. You think a sorry fixes everything. But, dad, think about it. You both head to work at 8 and come back in the evening. Sometimes, I'm asleep by then. You don't care about my emotional life. You don't know my worries, fears, and anxieties. I'm left on my own. You think giving me money when I ask is enough. I knew these things weren't right, but Mr. Humberto made me feel safe about them. It's only now I realize the deep problem I'm in. He lured me into smoking and introduced me to some nasty things. We never had a chance to sit down as a family like this and talk. All you guys care about is your work. That's your only priority. I could only hope to be a parent who puts family first someday. Now, you're making me feel guilty to the core. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maysara. We're sorry. We failed you. We didn't know what we were doing until these consequences unfolded. I promise you everything will change from now on. I guarantee it. I'm sorry, my baby. I thought providing for you financially was enough. I promise to make amends. Things won't remain the same. I love you, mom. Dad. So, today's the day you step into your new office, huh? Yeah, God's willing. How are you planning to juggle the time? We promised Moazim we'd spend more time with him. I'll figure it out. We're there. Thanks for giving me a ride today. My pleasure. Hun, when should I swing by? Don't bother. I'll use the Uber. Man, I'm exhausted. I don't know how to convince her to ease up on work and focus more at home. She thinks I'm hindering her progress. What good husband isn't proud of his wife's success? I'm frustrated. I could double her paycheck, but she doesn't even care about the money. That's the trouble with marrying a Mrs. Independent. Good morning everyone. Today marks the welcome of our new manager to the office. So we scheduled this brief meeting to honor that. Mrs. Chadera, please address us. Howdy, y'all. I appreciate y'all gathering here today to honor me with this great position. I feel undeserving of this, and words can't measure my gratitude. However, I gotta be honest and disappoint everyone. I can't take this position. For the past seven years, I've been working in this company. Pouring all my energy into seeing its progress. Meanwhile, my family was falling apart. Yesterday, I learned a valuable lesson. Family is the best treasure you can ever have in this world. My son, my husband, they need me too. I barely have time for myself or for them. My son recently got into some trouble, and it's all the consequence of my choices. Therefore, sir, I'm real sorry to turn this down. Additionally, I'd like to resign from my post as the assistant manager. I don't mind, as long as I can establish a healthy relationship with my family. I know it's a tough decision to make, but the sacrifice is worth it. Thank you.
Hey, are you okay, mom? I couldn't help but notice you are upset. Oh, I'm fine. Just dealing with some stuff. Sometimes talking about it helps. What's on your mind? I actually just turned down a promotion today and even resigned from my esteemed role as the assistant manager in my workplace. I decided to focus more on my family. That's a big decision. Is that why you are feeling this way? Yeah, it's been my lifelong dream, but family comes first, you know. Absolutely. I may not be rolling in dough, but my family's my everything. I trust God, go to work empty-handed, and return to a loving home. Money isn't everything, a happy home is priceless. Your perspective is comforting, I'd love to meet your family someday. They'd be happy to meet you too. Just let me know when you want to catch up. Definitely, remind me to share my details before I leave. I'd like to keep in touch. Will do, mom, take your time. Welcome, mom. Did you forget something? Nope. I'm home. Done with work for today. That's pretty early for a manager, mom. Mo, I turned down the position. And I'm not the assistant manager anymore either. What? What happened? I resigned from the position. Now, I'm gonna manage my family instead. I love you, mom. Thank you. Dr. Barde, I called you to let you know I won't be around regularly. So, keep an eye on the staff members. Make sure everyone is doing their job properly and that the hospital is running smoothly. Essentially, you'll be aiding me in coordinating the clinical affairs for now. And don't worry, I'll definitely double up your pay. I'm at your service, sir. Feels like everything's coming back together. Yes, it does. It feels like we're finally living instead of just existing. I'm really glad we're spending more time together. Yeah, the best step we've ever taken. Life's not all about making bucks after all. Dad, Mom, y'all check me out. Oh my god, be careful, Mo. Stay calm. The lad inherited my bravery and skills. Well, he's got my ever-intelligent brain. So what's that mean? I'm not intelligent. Who knows? <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. What's good? I got my position back. The principles bent in my favor. Allahu Akbar. Now I can retain my prestige at work, while still making time for my family. God is good. All the time. 